maybe not collectively the 40 minutes you all were looking for today, but what can you learn from the rise of the first half maybe where you guys fell short in the second half to either of you? Yeah, I mean, I think fourth quarter was a little bit better than third, but we just had a bit of a rough third quarter. Um, when we're not making our shots, it's kind of like everything else goes too. So we just got to find a way to put 40 minutes together. Paige, what did you did you notice the play maybe slipping a little bit coming out of the locker room, and do you attribute that to just play stringing together, just an overall vibe? What do you attribute it to? Um, I think we played a really pretty strong first half, and then I think maybe we got comfortable, and I think that's maybe what happened in the third quarter, why we had such a slow third quarter. Um, we did find a way to bounce back. I mean, we didn't. I think that they cut it within nine at one point, but. It, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we, we kept the lead pretty good, and um, we came back and played back a little bit better in the fourth. So, a couple plays you had Paige in the third. You had the you had the three. You were able to get to a 50-50. Just how important are those plays? I know the things were maybe sliding in the third, but just to get those plays to keep your team mentally in it. Yeah, I mean, I try to make every shot I take. So <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I got a few open looks, and I was just lucky to. Uh, I wouldn't say I was lucky, but I, I just, you know, I made the shots and it was good and momentum, I think. But um, I think we did a really good job today, like, for the most part, finding our open teammates. And um, I just think that when we make shots like that, like, off of assists and things like that, it brings a lot of energy to the team. Libby, I know the last game was, what, a week away, but just how good was it to kind of carry that momentum over and get off to the start you guys did this afternoon? Yeah, we had a good start today, I think. Um, that was really important for us, but like you said, we, we got to put 40 minutes together, so it doesn't matter how we start. We got to start every quarter that way and end every quarter that way. So, I mean, that's what we want to do. We want to carry this momentum, uh, our win today, into the next one. Paige, I know you were on the bench at the time, but to kind of have the end of the game go almost flawlessly as opposed to maybe some circus acts earlier in the season, how mm -hmm. important was that to see what you guys were doing in practice was working? Yeah, uh, I mean... For anyone who's been watching our games, you know that we've had a few mess ups at the end of games, and uh, it's caused us, I mean, it's lost us a game, and it's really made a, a few really, really close games. And, um, you know, we have been working on, on that kind of stuff in practice, trying to um, get ourselves more comfortable with end of game situations. And I think we, you know, we handled the pressure really well today, and, uh, you know, it shows that the work in practice is going to pay off, and we don't have to, you know, freak out at the end of games. To either of you, although I know you guys are disappointed that it wasn't a complete 40, all nine that saw the court scored and eight of nine grabbed rebounds today. Just how important is that to look at those positives as you guys continue on? Yeah, uh, it's, it's really important. I mean, you know, at the end of the season, it, it gets hard. You want to be able to feel comfortable to put anyone in, and I think that's how we, all, we feel at the, for the most part. And um, I think that it's like that's really important going into the end of the season because you know your body starts to wear down and to be able to have um, you know eight nine players come in and give us good good solid minutes every time it's not there's not a huge drop off it it does it helps us all a lot and um, I think just as a team it helps us you know get excited and ready for the next for the next game you know. When you have results that maybe leave you wanting more, how does that maybe channel in a practice just that anxiety of getting back out and kind of fixing some things that didn't go your way? Yeah, I mean, um, like the end of the VCU game, um, it kind of felt like we lost that game <laughs> at the end of that game. Um, so we used that and we took that and brought it to practice and practice end of game situations and um, yeah. I mean, we just we have high standards, and we want to be great. And um, I think that at the end of the day, we we ex expect like just so much out of each other and out of ourselves that sometimes we can almost like be like just we want we want to be so good all the time. And you know, at the end of the game situations, we've been having those like flaws basically. And I think that sometimes it's just like you know we have to stay positive in the fact of like okay we did win but we do we do know that there's things we need to work on and I think that that's like the most important like that's that's a good thing for us. Paige if you can remember going back I know previous teams had <coughs> loud locker rooms and quiet locker rooms even in wins was did this be maybe considered a quiet locker room again given the second half? Yeah I mean yeah it was quiet just because we know that we can be better and we could have given more 
or maybe not given more, just played all around just better in the second half. Um, but, I mean, at, at the end of the day, we all know that we, we won the game, and that's the, that's the most important thing. So we just need to, um, you know, just keep on thinking about the things that we need to work on, but also, you know, uh, be happy that we're winning games and um, we're finishing games stronger now. So.